Hello friends suppose you have upload image and after upload that image you want to change or remove that image then at time how you can do this. So for this I have make this video tutorial, in this tutorial you can learn how to upload image without page refresh in PHP by using Ajax with jQuery and I have also show you how to remove that uploaded image from server using PHP without page refresh using jQuery with Ajax. Friends this is my working folder and in this folder I have one folder images. I will upload images into this folder and will remove images from this folder. Now I have moved the code for making PHP image upload and remove using jQuery with Ajax. I have using jQuery JavaScript library and Bootstrap CSS library. First I have create one HTML form with attribute like it is equal to submit form. Action is equal to upload.php and method is equal to post. After this I have create one input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to file and it is equal to image file. With this HTML file element I want to upload only image with extension like jpg, jpeg, png and gif an image of file with other extension should not be uploaded to the server. And lastly in form I have write one submit button for selecting file for upload, so I have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to upload button and value is equal to upload. After this I have defined one division tag with it is equal to image preview. In this division tag I want to display image after clicking on submit button by using jQuery with Ajax. Now I have moved the jQuery code part, so I have write open and close script tag and between this tag I have write dollar document dot ready method with one anonymous function. Image should be uploaded on form submit event. So I have used select form as a selector which ended of HTML form. So I have write dollar submit form with on method open and close bracket and between bracket I have write submit event with function event parameter. With help of on method we can handle more than one event. Under this I have write event dot prevent default method. If this method is called, the default action of the event will not be triggered. After this I have moved to Ajax request code, in this first I have set URL with upload.php, URL is a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. Second I have set method with post method, it is an HTTP method to use for the request, here I have used post method. Third I have to set data with new form data with parameter this. The form data object lets you compile a set of key value pairs to send using XML HTTP request. It is primarily intended for use in sending form data, but can be used independently from forms in order to transmit key data. The transmitted data is in the same format that the form submit method would use to send the data if the form's encoding type were set to multi-part form data. After this I have write content type set to false, this is used when sending data to the server. After this I have write process data set to false. And lastly in this I have write success function with parameter data, this function to be called if the request succeeds. In this I will write code after I have write upload.php. So I have moved to upload.php code part. In upload.php page first I want to check any file is select or not by file element, so for this I have write of statement with condition like dollar files array like name file element with file with name key not equal to blank. This condition will check there is any file is select or not. If suppose there is no file is selected then I want to pop up alert message like please select file. So this I have write echo statement with open and close script tag and between this tag I have write alert message like please select file. 
this alert message will appear to form submitted without selecting a file or image. But suppose there is file is selected then it will execute if block of code. In this block first I want to get the extension of selected file, so for this I have write one extension variable is equal to n function and between n function I have write explode function with two parameter. In this function function first parameter is string delimiter that means separator which specifies where to break the string and second parameter is string which is name of selecting file get from this file array. In this code explode function will split the file named with dot separator. That means it will break file named with dot separator and split the file name into array and by using end function will return the last element from the array which is get from explode function and last element will be extension of file. So this way we can get the extension of selecting file. After this I want to specify the allowed file type. That means this type of file only will be uploaded to the server. So for this I have write allowed type variable is equal to array and between array I have write jpg, jpeg, png and gif. User can only upload this type of file extension and if user select other type of file will not allow to upload file and receive alert message like invalid file format. Now I want to check selecting file is valid or not. For this I have write of statement with condition and in condition I have write an array function with two parameter like selecting file extension which I have stored into extension variable and allow type extension array stored into allow type variable. This code will check selecting file type is allowed file or not. If selecting file not valid file then it will execute else block and an else block I want to code to alert message like invalid file format. So for this I have write echo statement with open and close script tag and between this tag I have write alert message like invalid file format. But suppose selecting file is proper then it will execute if block of code. So in this block first I want to rename the uploaded file. So for this I have write new name variable is equal to ran function with string concatenation operator with dot and again write dot operator with extension variable in which I have store the uploading file extension. This code will generate new name by using ran function and store into new name variable. After this I want to define the path for upload file, so for this I have write path variable is equal to images folder with new name variable in which I store the new for uploading file. Now I have moved to upload file, so for this I have write of statement with condition and in condition I have write move uploaded file function with two parameter like file that specifies the file to be moved and destination which specifies the new location for the file. In file parameter I have write dollar files array file temp name and in second parameter destination I have write path variable in which I have store the upload image path with file name. If file successfully upload to its destination then it will return true and it will execute if block of code and in this block I want to display uploaded image and remove button to the front page. For display image I have write echo statement and for display image I have write image tag with attribute like source image is equal to path variable in which I have store the uploaded image path. This will display uploaded image to the front page. For remove image button I have write button type is equal to button with attribute data path is equal to path variable. It is equal to remove button and I have write button text remove sign. Here data path variable I will use for remove image. This way we can display image with remove button to the front page. Now I have moved to query ajax success function and if ajax function returns successfully then it will get data in html format and I want to display html data into division tagged with it image preview. So I have write image preview dot html method with data. This will display uploaded image into this division tag. 
after image successfully uploaded and show on this page after file tag must be blank. So for this I have write image file dot value method with blank value, this will clear HTML file tag after image upload. Now I have moved to remove image code, here friends you can see that after image upload and display image and button on the page and in buttons it is equal to remove button. So I have used this it as a selector and query code. So I have write document select dot on method and in this method first I have right click event with remove button which is an it of remove button with one anonymous function. In this function before remove button first use confirm that he really want to remove message. So for this I have right of condition with confirm with message like are you sure you want to remove this image. If user click on no then no event will occur and image will not remove and it will execute else block and an else block I have right return false, that means no action will occur. But suppose it will click on yes then if block of code will execute and in if block first I want to get the path of uploaded image. So I have write path variable is equal to remove button dot data method with path. Here remove button is an it of remove button and image path is get from buttons data path attribute. Now I have moved to Ajax method for remove image using PHP code. In this method first I have set URL with the leak.php, I will write remove image code under this page. Second I have set the method for submit form to post method. Here I have set post method in Ajax method. Third I have set data and this data to be sent to the server. I have will send path variable to the server. Lastly I have success callback function and this function to be called if the request succeeds and receive data from the server. Here I will write code after I have write PHP code and to delete dot PHP page. So I have moved to delete dot PHP page and on this page first I want to check path variable not is equal to blank. So I have write if statement with condition like not empty function with parameter dollar post path variable. This code will check path variable has some data not. If path variable has some data then I have write if statement with unlink function with parameter dollar post path variable. This function will delete the file. This function has one required parameter which is the path to file with name. Path to file get from dollar post path variable. This function returns true on success deletes a file and if block of code will execute and in this block of code I have write echo statement with message like image deleted and this message sent back to font ajax success function. So in ajax success callback function and it will receive data. So here I have write of statement with condition like data is not equal to blank, if data has some value then it will execute if block of code. If image has be removed from server then that image must be removed from front side, so for this I write image preview dot html method with blank value. Here image preview is a division tag in which I have display image and by html method it will blank this division tag. Now I have saved this code and check the output in browser.
so this way we can upload image to the server without page refresh using Ajax with jQuery and we can also remove uploaded image by clicking on button and image will be removed from the server also. So this is my video tutorial on how to upload image and remove that uploaded image from server by using PHP with jQuery Ajax. If you like this video please share this video with your friends and even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.